In this video, um, we're going to go through how to configure flex configuration on FTD. We're going to use the following EIGRP configuration from an ASA and try to configure the same on the FTD. Now, as you can see here, um, we need to do this in three steps. The first one is creating a prefix list, calling that prefix list inside a route map, and then configuring EIGRP um, and using a redistribute command to call that route map to redistribute only the networks that are present in the prefix list. Now go to objects, object management. Then you go to prefix list and IPv4 prefix list. And now we need to replicate the same prefix list. So um, let's create one which has all of these values. I'm going to do a add IPv4 prefix list. Let's call this redist and let's add entry. So I want to allow on number 5000 slash 5. That's going to be my first one. I'm going to add another one. Uh, there you have it. So let's do save. So your prefix list is ready. Now the next step is configuring the route map. So what we do is we go to the route map option here. Now let's add a new route map. Let's call it RM redist and add a sequence number. So as you can see, we only have one sequence here. So we only use this route map to match an IP address. Um, and then that is called inside the router EIGRP, which is your um, routing table. So let's go ahead and call this one. Let's say sequence number here is 10. And I want to call an IPv4 prefix list which is called redist. There you have it. And I have a route map configured. So I've got two parts of the equation solved. Now I need to go to the third one. Now with the FTD, the way you do this is flex configuration. Um, in flex configuration, you have two type of objects. You have a text object and you have a flex object. Now let's have a quick look on both of these. If you look at the text object, now this is where you can define values which go inside variables. Um, let's have a look at a couple of these. So as you can see, you have EIGRP AS, you enter the value for that EIGRP AS, which is one. So it's mostly about defining the values. Let's add one and say, so the next one is router ID. So let's go ahead and let's create one. EIGRP router ID. Okay, so we got two things right here. Um, the third thing is we need a network. So let's go ahead and do EIGRP network underscore lab. Let's say this is 10, 0, 0, 0. It should actually be a 0, 0, 0. Okay, let's save this. And we also need a route map object. So if you go under route maps, you should see a route map already created. Now let's go back to our flex config object that we want to create. Um, I'm going to duplicate my EIGRP configure again. And let's duplicate this here. Now what we want to do is we're going to keep this here. We don't need this. We do need this. So I'm going to keep this here, but I'm going to remove everything else. And now we are going to copy stuff. So for this guy, <clears throat> my my EIGRP, I've already configured a variable name. So I'm going to call it EIGRP AS underscore lab. So right here, this guy is configured. Now I need my router ID. I already have one. So I'm going to call my router ID, which is text object EIGRP router id underscore lab let's look for underscore lab here we have a router id and then we also need a network my network is going to be eigrp underscore network underscore lab so this name can be anything um, but it just has to be unique if you're using multiple objects in one flex config object it should be unique names but what you're calling is what you had already created here so i'm calling the ones 
the lab ones which I had created before, right here. So I've got all of these. Now what I do need is I need this command. So let's copy that. And I also need this command. So let's also copy that. The only difference is I need to replace this with a route map object. So I do have it right here. Um, I'm going to call it rm near grp. And then I only have one object here. I'm going to copy that. So I've got all of this. And there's a command that is missing, which is distance, isn't it? So I'm going to do a distance here grp. Now these variables are not going to change. Um, the idea of variables is that if you want to change certain distances, you don't have to come into the flex config object to do that. You can go to that particular variable, change the value, and then it reflects in all of the other policies that that object is called in. But for our case, we can keep it a constant for the sake of this lab. So this is my EIGRP config. This is what I want to push to um, my devices. Now, the next step that I need to do is I go to devices, flex config, and I create a new policy. Let's call it EIGRP on 2100. So I have a 2100 device. I'm going to call that inside this policy. You might want to append sometimes or prepend sometimes based on the order you're trying to push. But in our case, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to append it because I want to see it before. Um, I'm going to save this. So the next thing you would want to do before you push the policy is you would like to preview it. So FTD allows you to preview the configuration before it's pushed. So let's go ahead and preview for the device. Um, if I was pushing this configuration to the device, which is the 2100. As you can see, my prefix list is getting pushed. My route map is all here um, and also my EIGRP. So if you compare the two, I'm pushing EIGRP AS1. My router ID is coming. I have the distance. My passive interface is configured. And then we have the redistribute command as well. Now, the only thing left for me to do is you deploy the configuration to the device. I choose 2100. I'm pushing EIGRP configuration and I'm going to say deploy. EIGRP configuration on an FTT using flex config. 